All right. So in Final Fantasy X, to perform Lulu's Overdrive, you have to rotate the right analog stick on your gamepad. Now the PC version is unique there because you have two different ways to approach that overdrive on PC. So first you can use uh, the right stick just like uh, on the original console. This can be finicky however because uh, a higher speed doesn't necessarily bring better results. There is a second really good approach to Lulu's Fury Overdrive on PC using the keyboard controls, but not on your keyboard, but on the gamepad. And in this video, I show you how to set this up using DS4 Windows. The good thing about this approach is using this mechanic your speed can actually matter and with higher speed you get better results especially if you have a good technique so let's get to it ds4 windows is already installed and running on my system and my controller is connected okay let's see how we can set this up ds4 windows we have profiles this is your default profile you need it to uh, to play just like normal so we're gonna create a new one we can duplicate this old one it's fine uh, let's type a name what i really like is changing the light bar colors uh, in those two profiles so i can tell them apart easily so let's go into default um, my light bar is set to blue here and then press save if you changed it for my second profile I go with any other color let's let's just go with red um, okay this is the first thing I want to change so now I can tell the profiles apart so what you want to do now is basically select every button on your gamepad and unbind the the function. So you click on each button, a new window is going to pop up. Let's bring it up. And in that window you can select unbound. So now we can see R1 is set to unbound. This we're going to do with basically all the buttons. Unbound. I'm gonna do this for all the buttons. So now I un unbound all the buttons with the exception of uh, L3. I'm gonna explain why later. And I didn't uh, do the face buttons yet because they will become the keyboard buttons. You only need two buttons for this, but you can bind them all to to make it more comfy that's personal preference so i'm gonna primarily bind uh, cross at square to the two keyboard buttons that are used in Lulu fury by default this is right arrow and left arrow but for me it is two and four because i rebound some keys in my game so let's do this The A button will be 2 for me, and the square button will be 4. And uh, circle will also be 4, and triangle will be 2. So now we can see um, we have it bound correctly. Now, one more thing. We need to be able to switch between the profiles without too much hassle. What you can do for that is... Um, let's start with default. We go into the default profile. We go into special actions. And you can create a new action. And uh, we're gonna name it 
switch to Fury. And my trigger shall be R3 for this, because that's not used in the game. So press the, the right analog stick, shall switch the profile to, to Fury. Oh, I need load a profile, Fury. Safe. Now this is set for the default for the default profile. Now let's go into the other one. I also want to be able to switch back. So that's why I left L3 still bound. I'm gonna grab L3. I can load the profile, default, safe. And now we can switch between the profiles and we can easily tell them apart uh, by looking at the, at the light bar. So we are in default right now, it glows blue. If I hit R3, switching to red, I'm in the Fury profile now. If I hit L3 again, Oops, it switches to blue and this works. Now we can jump into the game and give it a try.